Besides, it was too dark and gross in there. He had to come up for air. As he rose, his ears were assaulted by the sound of beeping electronics and yelling and laughing kids. It took a few seconds for eyes to adjust from the darkness of the pit to the brightness that now surrounded him. The flashing lights and vivid colours. He looked around and muttered, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansans anymore. Kansans anymore. The walls were lined with shiny arcade cabinets, housing games he'd heard his dad talk about from his own childhood. Mrs. Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Frogger, Cuba, Galaga. A neon-lighted claw machine displayed a plush, blue, elf-like creatures and orange cartoon cats. He looked down in the, at the pit and realised he was surrounded by little kids wallowing in the strangely clean and now brightly coloured plastic orbs. He stood over the preschoolers like a giant. He stepped out of the pit to find his shoes, but they were gone. Standing on the colourful carpet in his sock feet, he looked around. There were lots of kids his age and younger, but there was something different about them. Everyone's hair was styled and fluffy. The boys who were... who were polo shirts in colours lots of guys wouldn't be caught dead in like pink or aqua. The girl's hair was almost unbelievably big with bangs that stood out from their foreheads like claws. They were pastel coloured tops that matched their pastel coloured shoes. The colours, the lights, the sounds. It was sensory overload. And what was that music? Oswald looked around to see where it was coming from. Across the room on a small stage, a trio of animatronics animals, animatronic animals, blinked their big blank eyes, opened and closed their mouths, and pivoted back and forth in scenic with a jangly, annoying song. There was a brown bear, a blue rabbit, and a with a red blow with a red bow tie, and some kind of bird girl. They reminded Oswald of the mechanical animals he had caught himself drawing lately. Lately, the difference was that he could never decide if the if the animals in his drawings were cute or creepy. These were creepy. Strangely, though, the dozen or so little kids surrounding the stage didn't seem to think so. They were wearing birthday party hats with pictures of the characters on them and dancing and laughing and having a great time. When the smell of pizza hit Oswald's nose, he understood. He was still in Jeff's pizza, or more accurately, what Jeff's pizza had been before Jeff took over. The ball pit was new and not roped off. All the outlets on the wall had arcade games plugged into them. And he turned around to face the left wall in the shapes of the shadows on the walls of... In the wall of Jeff's Pizza was a mural of the same characters performing on stage. The brown bear, the blue rabbit and the bird girl. Below their faces, the words... Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Oswald insides turned to ice water.